Nothing. Nah, okay, what I'm about to say, I want to show you guys something. I understand what it's like to have a certain belief system for a long time and it really gets embedded in you and stuff and it's hard to let go of. I want to tell you, it was no different for me. I was involved with the Transcendental Meditation peoples for 23 years, basically. Natural law party, all that stuff. So of course I was into the chakras, seven chakras, and uh, and when I first started exploring gospel reggae and uh, Jesus, and I did my seven day Jesus experiment, well, I went full heart and mind into it, and I said, well, let me just see what happens. And guess what happened? Yep, oh yep, saved in the blood of JC. Yes, sir, that's what happened. Okay, let me just show you what I had in my room. Right? This was hanging up. Forever, for like two years. Look at this. It's made out of silk, it's a silk banner. And I agree, look how beautiful these things are. Like, with the colors, with them symbols right there. That's a cult. Those are Babylon occult symbols, you guys. And look, right there at the heart chakra. You know, they try to say that that's the heart chakra. Right there. Right there. That, that uh, six-pointed star is called the Star of Rem Fan. Acts 743. Has to do with Moloch worship. You know? False idol Moloch worship. Which is, had to do with baby sacrificing. That's what that symbol means. No, no it's Star David. It's Star... Man, this, didn't, this, this symbol did not come about until Solomon, and Solomon was David's son. So instead, unless David time traveled after Solomon, it's not a star David. It's that the synagogue of Satan crap for you. Bunch of lies and deceptions. Go, looks. Anyway, I call it the hex appointed star. Okay? This is going to go along with the RFID chip to represent the mark of the beast. You will not be able to buy or sell unless you have the mark of the beast. That will be the RFID chip for the pragmatic purposes of, you know, keeping track of all the stuff you buy and sell. But it's going to come with a symbol. They call it the Star of David with the hexagonic star. Why hexagonic? See? Six sides. Now look at that. See the six outer points? That's your first six. See the, uh... See the six outer sides of the, d the two triangles? That's your other six. Now count the six inner sides of the hexagon. That's your third six. That's 666. It says right in Revelation. The number of the beast is 666. It does not require interpretation. It does not require study. It says it. Number of the beast is 666. So... If the number of the beast is 666 and it talks about what's the mark of the beast, don't take it lest you die permanent death. Okay, well, maybe the mark of the beast is going to have the number of the beast somehow, you know, yeah, correlated. Well, there you go. That's it. That's it. Case closed. Stamp that sucker. That's a done deal. You can come up with theories that's different, talking about, or they're talking about the Mark Cain, well, whatever. That's it right there. The hexagonic star, the star of Rem Fan. The hexagonic star, they call it the star of David, it's not. So Solomon started dabbling with the occult, which is why, you know, Menelik took the Ark of the Covenant to Ethiopia. Because he was, he's like, Dad, what the hell are you getting into? This is bullshit. 
I'm taking this arc from you. You don't deserve it. Yeah, right? I also had... Right here, I had these up too. Look at them, man. I can't even look. I can see them now for what they are. I just thought they were really cool colors. And they have little sayings on them. You know what? Let's see what one of these says. Let's see what this... Let's see what the star David... Let's see what the heart chakra says. A heart is open to receive the energy of love. I radiate this essence. I walk my path with ease and grace. Yeah, well, it sounds real good, right? Let's see if they let's see, see if they mention God in any of these. Throat, throat chakra. See anything about God? Aligned with the highest truth, communicate this with love and honor. My words echo softly within the what? The what? The universe. They don't like that. Gee, they don't like using that word God. They don't like it at all. What's this say? What's that say? My mind, this is the third eye chakra. My mind is open to new vision. I expand my awareness to my higher self. Higher self. Self, self love. What's this say? Oh, this is their top one. This is the uh, crown chakra. Of course, it's the color of the royals, purple. I am connected to the what? The divine source of the what? The universe. I am what? Light. It. What? The hell? Oh, I trust. Nothing about God. Nothing about Jesus. It's a bunch of Lucifer Luciferian jargon. That. What? All right, that's the heart. Now, what's in this direction? What we got here? Solar plexus. My will and divine will are one. I am connected to the abundant flow of the universe. What? Universe. And easily manifest my dreams. Hmm. Still haven't seen nothing about God. What's that one? The sequel chuck. I love all dimensions of myself. I delight in weaving the creative tapestry that is my life. Oh, no. Nope. Nothing to do with thanks and praises to God. A lot of self-love, me, me, me stuff sounds like to me. What's this one? Last one. Base chakra. I am connected with the energy of Mother Earth. My mind, body, and spirit are grounded, centered, and pure. You see for yourselves, right there you go, with your little chakra flags. Well, I took them down, and I didn't do it the first day. I left them up, and I started saying, well, I'm going to, like, be so saved, they won't even, like, have an effect, which is true. I got the armor of God now, and I can have these things everywhere. They won't do nothing. All these little fallen angels trying to get through them, to me, nah. Too late, but... I don't even want to, like, represent, be associated with them no more. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man. Throw that. It's all gone, man. That's the past. Alright. I'll show you this.